Hey there, it's a girl. Um, so today was treatment number three. I am officially halfway through my treatments. Um, and the new medicine seems to be a lot better than the Paxil that they were trying to give me. Um, so I get Keytruda and two others. Um, I finished like before, just before, th before three o'clock, I finished up at two 30, which is nice. Um, they now anticipate that I won't really be there all day, which is good. Um, the port has been itching me. Um, and it, this hot weather we've been having, it, I've been a little sweaty, so it, it, it itches and it burns. Um, they told me that can happen. So to just, you know, make when I shower, just make sure, you know, lukewarm soapy water and try and keep the area dry. Um, I use my Tricalm as well, and that helps a lot. Um, no crazy rashes. Yay. Um, my digestive system seems to be working as it should most of the time, which is a good sign. Um, then I asked about the CAT scan. Remember I said my insurance approved two CAT scans. Um, I talked to the, um, PA and she said that they'll probably wait till everything's finished and then do one. Um, they want to make sure my CA-125, the cancer blood test, they want to make sure that that score is going down before they do any imaging. So, um, you know, I'm waiting on today's score. Um, last time the score was still high, but she felt that it was because they were, they did the port. Sometimes it tr triggers it. So... That's what I'm waiting for. My CA-125 score. Hopefully it's gone down. That's what they want to see. No supplements until my chemotherapy is finished. Everything has to be food-based. Um, I lost another three pounds. So the nutritionist came in. She gave me a list of foods to try and eat. Like mix, mix and match. And she gave me some stuff. Some suggestions for my smoothies. Um... Because she said, I did. They feel that I'm losing the weight a little too fast for their liking, um, and she said to try and get out and walk as long, you know, as the weather permits. Try and get out and just. She said, even if you just walk around the block for like 20 minutes a day, try and do that. Um, that'll help build muscle. So. Um, home now mommy was acting up I think she was freaking out because I wasn't home and when I got home she started to calm down she's actually in bed I don't think she's asleep yet but she's in bed um I just got some Chinese food for my brother and myself um I'm gonna go get me a second helping <laughs> lo mein nothing's fried and um yeah I'm gonna go get me a second helping <laughs> um what else? No crazy, crazy, crazy side effects during the treatment, which was good. I kind of just chilled out, watched YouTube, and they did the they did the thing. Um, I still have the neuropathy in my feet. I still have it in my hands. Um, cooking is a little uncomfortable. Uh, and I am I still have some vertigo. Like my balance is still off. Um. But no crazy side effects, at least not immediate side effects. We'll see what happens during the week. And um, otherwise, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, the physician's assistant said if I needed to, you know, take a laxative or anything like that to go ahead and do it. And she said it's fine. It's just the supplements that they don't want me to take because the ingredients are contraindicated but she said if you need a laxative take a laxative um put a little ginger ale in your water you know to help keep your stomach calm um 
you know, mix some cranberry juice. Oh, the one thing I I think I mentioned this on the previous video. If I drink plain water, it tastes like chalk in my it tastes like chalk to me. So, um the nutritionist pretty much said what I've been doing was fine. Put a little lime in it, put a little cranberry juice in it in the water just, you know, she said even if you like make some lem homemade lemonade and just, you know, put a little honey in it you know just to you know get the taste out um because she said you know you need to keep hydrated so um that's where i'm at as far as the physical aspect um i still have the fatigue hopefully with the exercise that'll go away um i still have the chemo fog if i don't put it in my calendar i probably won't remember um, I still have the vertigo. My balance is still off. And, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm just glad I'm halfway through. I got three more to go. And, and today was crazy because everybody was late. The lady that was supposed to, that came comes to help my mom not the aide the aide was on time but the other my neighbor was way late she missed her ride so she had to take the train and the bus <laughs> to get to my house then my pickup was late that, that to pick me up they were late so I was late. I was supposed to be at nine o'clock. I didn't get to the hospital till nine thirty, and it seems like I was the only one. There was a whole bunch of people that didn't get to the hospital until after nine o'clock. So um, thank God I wasn't the only one. And um, I forgot today was September eleventh, um, and. Um, I was just sitting remembering my cousin who worked for Cantor Fitzgerald. Um, she did not survive. She was at work that day. And I was remembering her on the way home. Um, I, I really miss that kid. I really do. She was a sweetheart. She was about to start her own catering business. She was getting ready to actually, I think she was going to leave Cantor Fitzgerald and get into, um, she loved to bake. So she was going to do like, like a dessert catering kind of thing. And she was teaming up when she had taken culinary school. She had gone to culinary school and she was two weeks from graduation. And she was teaming, going to team up with another student and get into the catering business. Because she really liked doing it. And then another friend with the same name. She used to call me. Every September 11th she would call me. And check on me and see how I was doing. And then last year I found out she passed away. And the only reason I found out is because someone posted the obituary on Facebook. <sighs> yeah. So, you know, September 11th is always a somber day for me anyway. Um, so I'm kind of not surprised that everything went topsy-turvy this morning. I guess it's just par for the course. Um, and now we're getting ready, and now it's getting ready to rain. I tell you. But, um... I did clean up some of my office, so fingers crossed, maybe by the end of the week, I'll be able to do some beating and, you know, I don't know about beating chat, maybe. If I can get my bead table the way I want it again, maybe I'll do beading chat this weekend. Um, I don't know yet. Ah. <sighs> It's just one of those days. It started out crazy, but then it turned out okay at the end. Um, so, anyhow, let me go get my second helping, the second helping of of dinner and lemonade, 
and um i don't think i have anything else to say likes are free y'all uh share with a friend or two that thinks that these things these videos are helpful and um i will see you all in the next one peace